that good? <gasps> All right, guys. Okay, ready? Hey guys, I'm Ash. And I'm Liv. And, and for today's video, we're gonna do a very casual, I don't even know what this video is gonna be. For ages, we've just been saying how we really wanna do like a sit down video, answer some juicy questions, just talk about just a lot of chats. Things. We demanded to have poke bowls because they've been our recent obsession. Yeah. And I also demanded to have coconut water because we're health gurus. So let's get into the video. Why would it open? That was like really anticlimactic. I was thinking it just for it to do a big pop. Oh my god, it was so good. Let's start with things that we want to tell you guys. We're going to LA in a few days. Also, if my eating and like talking is See, this is why I didn't want to eat in this video because like I just can't eat nicely when I'm having a poke bowl. It's like getting to winter here in Australia and we just want to get out of this place. I've just been feeling so flat lately and I just can't wait to go to LA and meet new people and like I don't know, just be really inspired and creative yeah. again. Oh, I just look excited. So yeah, we'll be there for like just under two weeks and it should be heaps of fun. Let's follow out all of our socials. We'll do a few videos while we're over there. If you have anything specific you want from us, then comment below and let us know. Yeah, and then when we get back from LA, we'll be back in Sydney for like a few days and then off to Byron for Splendor in the Grass. It's our first ever time going to Splendor in the Grass and it's supposed been. to be like one of the best festivals in Australia. We're going with Rimmel. I'm so excited. So, so there will also be a lot of fun, amazing festival content. I didn't realize this bowl is looking very orange. And we got our tea titans yesterday and we're not allowed to eat colored food for like three days. Oh, that looks orange. <laughs> so I just got you guys, or we got you guys, to send through just things to talk about. People are like, have you ever smoked weed before? No. It's um, these questions really making me sweat. Talk, I feel like you're being so awkward now. Okay, well, ask me a question then. I will. Someone goes, I thought you had a boyfriend. Did you guys break up? I did not have a boyfriend. And Never if that's that. referring to our friend Jackson, he's gay and he's still our best friend. I do we know a lot of, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do know a lot of people were speculating that like one of us dating <laughs> him or both of us liked him or something like that, <sighs> which is not the case. I feel like we should just straight up talk about the whole Airbnb situation. But we've never even it makes me feel very uncomfortable. We've never even spoken about it on YouTube. When we stayed at that Airbnb for Fashion Week and we filmed a few videos there, there was a little scenario that happened the last night and I put on my story that we were like really scared. We got our dad to pick us up early. I am constantly getting DMs about what happened to that Airbnb because everyone was really worried about us and we just haven't spoken about it. The Airbnb was in like an apartment complex and it was so safe, everything was like double locked. So the first few days we were staying there, it was like honestly fine, we didn't really notice anything. You know obviously when you just go about your day, you're a little bit zoned out when things happen. There was a gate you had to go through to get to our front door. And every time we would come back from an event or something, we'd notice it was open. Olivia would just be like, oh Ashley, did you forget to shut the gate? And we'd be like, oh probably. We brushed a lot of things under the rug, just like little things like that that you would notice was a bit weird and then it came to like the night before we were leaving so we were on our way out of the apartment to an event and I just got like a glimpse from my peripheral vision the kitchen bench and I was like oh that's really odd everything's lined up really weirdly did you go and touch it and then so we just like noticed our bananas our tablets that we take I said to Ashley like I can touch those bananas the whole trip yeah and in my head I was like why would Olivia touch my tablets but she wouldn't because like they were mine but also in saying that, because we had friends coming over, Olivia kind of roughly cleaned up the apartment a bit. And because we had a makeup artist that morning as well. So I was like, oh, maybe. Really friend, yeah. I was like, maybe I did it like not really knowing. While we were at the event, I messaged the Airbnb host and I was like, hey, just double checking, like no one has access to the apartment, just us. Like we're the only ones that have access. And he was like, oh no. And I just left it. So we came back from the event and I was taking my makeup off. I was like butt naked. <laughs> I was taking my lashes off and I was trying to look for my lash case. It was on the table. So I came out, both of our lash cases were like lined up, like super neatly. And Ashley's facial brush really neatly lined up. It next was like to it. parallel, like next to, on the corner of the edge of the bench. I was like, whoa, I would not do that. Like that's weird. Yeah. So I was just sitting on the lounge and we're talking and I noticed next to me, there was two blankets folded neatly and stacked on top of each other. We actually slept on the lounge with one of my white singlets folded also and stacked on top of the blanket. And I was like, 
well, that's really weird. Like, I don't clean up after myself that well. I also wouldn't stack my singlet on top of the blanket. And so we kind of just started, like, seeing a heap of other things, like, really neatly cleaned up. This is what made us freak out so much, is that everything was, like, categorized. So, like, all of our makeup stuff was stacked up in a pile together. But, yeah, all of our hair equipment was, like, wrapped around each other really neatly and, like, lined up and stuff. I remember cleaning up before the event because I was like, we have to check out early tomorrow morning. We need to, like, start cleaning up. But I feel like I would have remembered what I did and I just... I still to this day can't remember if I did clean up some of it or if I didn't. Like, yeah, it's but, just so weird. But we also knew that like it. neither of us would clean up like that. Well, so our initial fight or flight response started to kick in and we're like, this is it. Like this is a full on ghost experience. We're about to, you know, have our first ever ghost encounter. Well, and, like, someone's we've got been, a stalker. I was like, someone's been in our apartment and just like cleaned up random stuff. Our heart rate started like racing and, oh, and like we just shut down. I was butt naked too. So at this point we were like completely almost convinced that there was like a ghost, a stalker. Oh, I wasn't yeah. really convinced about a ghost. We're already such anxious, Obedience. easily, yeah, there's the smallest little thing and we will make it like this big whole scenario because our anxiety just like will completely over control our body. It's so ridiculous. Honestly. The reason why I was so believing that it was like a ghost or something was because so many years back I used to watch all of Tana's freaking story times and stalker story times and she would say how like this stalker like stack things up neatly and so that's that was what, the only thing that was in my head I was like that's what it is so Ashley was convincing us about that so we were like whispering to each other because I was convinced that there was like someone Somebody in my in closet room. or like <laughs> someone under my bed and that's why like I put up a story just to, like last prayers <laughs> <My God. laughs> and so none of us moved we literally were frozen I texted dad and I was like hey dad can you come and pick us up and this is like a 40 minute drive guys he texted straight away thank god so we literally packed everything <laughs> <laughs> no but we had to go downstairs and let our dad in so we were standing there frightened to go through the hallway because we're convinced someone's gonna pop out and like stab us or something <laughs> so <laughs> we're standing there like shaking literally shaking and i'm like can you just grab a knife or something i'm taking a knife with me <laughs> we almost took a freaking knife with us downstairs because of how scared we were Guys, if you have never experienced anxiety, or this is it. Thinking back, I'm like, wow, that is like a whole nother level. That was like, we were gonna grab a knife and walk outside the apartment complex <laughs> holding a knife. Imagine if the police happened to come across us and we are holding a knife. They literally would have thought we were mental. Like, this what is, is our excuse? We would have literally sounded insane. This is gonna turn into just our ghost experience story time. Anyways, so then it clicked to us and we're like, oh, well, our two friends were over before and we went to an event with one of them and then our other friend stayed home in our apartment to edit, so we let him stay in our apartment. At this point, we're like, oh, so maybe he, like, cleans it up or something while we're gone and just didn't tell us, which, like, was probably the most logical reason, mm. but because we were just so anxious and scared, that was just not even an option for us. So we left the whole entire apartment, packed up everything. Our dad took us home. We were telling dad about everything in the car, and I swear to God, he thought we were insane. We were on our way home, and we thought we'd text our friends and say, hey, did you just have so happen to like tidy our apartment a little bit while we're gone at that event and just like not tell us and so we didn't hear anything we went to bed and we got home we went to bed woke up in the morning from a text with our friend at like 2 a.m to just say oh yeah sorry my ocd was just bothering me or something like that so i decided, so I decided, to, clean decided to clean up a little bit or something like that and we all just laughed about it like, and we, we were like, just like oh like are you serious, serious? So like funny. we are so ridiculous we just made the whole situation escalate and like the only logical reason was just not an option for us yeah and the fact that we nearly like we grabbed a knife and nearly walked around the apartment block with a knife like what that just goes to show two overly paranoid teen girls i honestly from that day on i honestly can say i've never felt like such i felt a like dumb an idiot <laughs> <laughs> it really made me feel like that. I was like, holy moly, I was so convinced at the time <coughs> that yes, I'm gonna have my first ever ghost experience, we're gonna do a fun story time on it. Like, oh my god, I can't even believe what it escalated into. But turns out our friend just cleaned up the apartment a little bit and didn't tell us. So 
So we sound ridiculous to just tell that story. And here we are saying, yeah, let's move out. No, I know. Last a week. I know. Here we are saying, oh yeah, we're gonna move out. And then we text Dad, Dad, can you come here? Something freaked out. I feel like this video has just turned into the story time. I know. Anyways, and the story's a lot longer too, but I just wanted to cut it short. Like I'm actually really, really surprised how many people asked how many people ask things like have you lost your virginity or like when did you lose it things like that because a few months ago we filmed what a few months ago we filmed an assumptions video when like that whole trend was going around and we actually answered that question and we said how we wanted to wait for someone that like we feel comfortable, we feel comfortable with. with and we have a connection with obviously we've neither of us have ever had a boyfriend before so and i'm actually really surprised how many people didn't know that because that video like i would have thought a lot of people no i feel like you're just like getting so awkward about all these questions about no it's not sure. Someone goes worst kissing story. I will never ever forget that time that we all went on like quadruple dates with our, you know, our things at the time. Oh, it was that guy that we were cheating. Oh my god, it was horrible. <laughs> Did you know that? Yes. <laughs> that is so funny. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> if you had the opportunity, would you join Team 10? I'm really enjoying the uncut series, not gonna lie. We watched Alyssa Kalani's video mm. about her story and everything, and I just feel like we related to that a lot. We were like similar to her, and we just don't think it's something we would be able to fit into or feel comfortable with. If I got the opportunity, probably not, but I don't think we'd ever get the opportunity. We're like two girls from little old Australia. 14 like, hours away. Ooh! <laughs> What's one thing that you, you're really attracted to in guys that you think is weird? Well, I don't really know because I haven't really been in that situation. Like, I've never really had a thing with a guy at that no, degree to mean, notice. I don't mean, weird. like, a thing with someone, just something that makes you think that they're, like, really attractive. It's, like, kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. What? What? Do you, can you think of anything? Kind of. Like, I'll admit this is, like, probably really random. I just have this thing where I find it so attractive when guys wear their hats backwards. I don't know why I find it so attractive, but it's, like, a big tick for me. Yeah. Someone's like, have you both ever thought about being in a relationship or are you scared of the outcome? Yeah, like I'm not scared of being in a relationship, but I think because like I've been single for like 19 years, it scares me that I don't know. Like, I think I'm I, pretty biased on it. Yeah, I because I've never been in a relationship or I've been single for like 19 years, I just feel like I don't need anything. Like I don't need it. And I know that's yeah, like, weird. You don't like, know any different. I don't know any different. But at the same time, I do want yeah. a guy, like a partner. So it's like we've been single for so long that we've learned to be so independent and on our own that like it makes me scared that being in a relationship will make me weak in that sense in a way if you know what I mean I will like give in to myself a bit for that person no because I agree I'm how I like to. in love yeah. you kind of become if that makes yeah, sense like, yeah so I feel like I'm someone that will get like really attached yeah see I don't think I am we've spoken about this so much I avoid getting hurt or I avoid hurting people so I feel like it would take me a lot to actually get into a relationship yeah. because I'm just I'm so no, closed off we both have really really thick walls but like you have thicker walls yeah I would need someone who's like really secure yes are you religious not religious we're fairly intuitive and like spiritual in a sense we've been getting a lot more into like spiritual stuff lately and like law of attraction and all that stuff lately well I mean we're Christians and we've been to church and stuff like that but I would just say you're well, with our dad I think spiritual oh this is weird this is kind of good one though would you consider getting like a lip job boob job filler and stuff I don't think I would ever get my face done or anything like that. I don't judge anyone that does it. I'm all about like natural beauty, but I also think if you're gonna do something that makes you feel more confident in yourself, then I'm then all for it. it. And I don't yeah. personally think anyone else's opinion should, should like, decide that. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. it's your own personal choice. It's your body, do what you want, do what makes you feel good. But also we've, growing up, we've always talked about being interested in getting like a boob job, like literally since like we were little. Yeah. It's just small boobs around the family. And it would it's something that we think would make ourselves feel a lot more confident but yeah. also at the same time I'm really sitting on the fence about it but it's more just like because we literally have nothing yeah it's just like and I guess that, it'll probably just make us be a bit more confident and like yeah. portion our body out a little bit yeah it's just like portion it but and yeah. stuff but we're still very on the fence I don't think I would ever get like my face done or anything or like a butt or anything like that I go to the gym I'm building my own butt yeah if you could build your own boobs I'd do it <laughs> but you can't I have really long hairs yeah my chin does have really weird so do you <laughs> 
Okay, I wanted to touch on a last question. I was seeing a lot of questions asking about sexual art, sexual art. <laughs> sexuality, thoughts on it. What do you mean if you've ever questioned your own? That is a very good, it's a very question, good, though. uncomfortable question. I feel like it's normal for everyone to yeah. question themselves or like probably in this day and age as well. Yeah, it's like such a big topic. And I actually, I'm not gonna lie, like considering I've never really had a proper relationship for like 19 years, obviously the thoughts have kind of passed where I'm like, why haven't I seemed to find a guy? Is it because I don't find guys attractive? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Is it like guys don't like me? Is it so yeah, obviously then thoughts are like past. I can only see myself in a relationship with a guy. I was just say that. I don't think I personally could ever see myself in a relationship with yeah. a girl. I think girls are like beautiful. I will admit that. But then I also like, like all over guys too. <laughs> <laughs> and I can only see myself in a relationship with a guy. guy. So yeah, I can't. I hope that kind of answered that question. But I think it's Any, so normal. Yeah, I don't think it's something that you should like feel embarrassed about. I think it's normal to like have those thoughts and that should be, be curious these days. Yeah. I, I feel like this video has just turned into somewhat story time, answering random questions. Um, even it did make me feel uncomfortable though. So, but yeah, we kind of just wanted to do it and chat to you guys about some fun juicy stuff especially before we go away to LA expect some really really fun content follow all our social medias to watch us and stay, stay up to date with our trip anyways I hope you guys it's looking so bad we hope you guys enjoyed this video oh my god stop touching a fringe all right we hope you guys so bad it doesn't we hope you guys enjoyed this video we hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up comment below anything you wanted to chat to us about in the comments because we'll reply to you guys and make sure you subscribe to upload every single week so this video shout out goes to caitlin thank you so much for your comments and your support see you all in our next video see you on our way to la